just a walk in the woods. American Trailmaker. Easy on light stuff. I really don't like cutting on too many of my trees. I like my stuff to be all natural, but we'll find something. Maybe a sweet gum. We got a slam full of sweet gums out here. Dogs out, boars out. We're out in these beautiful woods. Don't get much better. Going up this big hill. Bring my son back home. And I'm heading back down. That's a maple tree. Come on, buddy, bro. That's some good dead wood. Oh, it's just all going flaky stuff there. Easy for kindling. Say a chop, buddy. Can't chop. Hmm? Yep. <clears throat> yeah, just out getting some wood time in. It's been a few weeks. My little buddy got tired. So I'm bringing him back in for a minute and I'm going back out. You got your cowboy boots on, buddy? Oh. Yep. Look at all this fat wood. You don't see it right now, but when I cut into it, that's where I get all mine from. Mainly right here in the elbows and down in the roots. This thing make a good little chopper, but you don't beat it in like my axe or my machetes. Still a good little blade. Mostly where uh, pine beetles took effect. You can see their holes. And then when I uh, get a big wind uh, gusting through or a bad storm, these bad boys come down. This is one of my spots where I took out some fat wood up in there. This is where I gouge it out. Still nice juicy looking chunk up in there. I have to get a chainsaw on that. 
I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy the rest of the time out here. Got you a can. Awesome. Find us a sweet gum. They mostly grow up all around my house. A lot of little saplings there. This stuff don't make the best firewood, but dead and dried out, it, it does. It does good. This stuff just chops through it like it ain't nothing. I'm barely even whacking at it though. I'm already putting no effort into it. There you go. They take them down so I can imagine what it does to a dry piece. I need to take that down anyway so it won't kill off any more of my oaks, poplars, or uh, pines that's trying to grow. Because you can see we've got a lot of fallen pines out here, and this is just this one spot right here. I'll finish that off later on. That's not. Not worth a thing. All right. You see very carefully a little salamander in there. There. Things you find in your adventures. Usually, you said it used to be big ones, bigger ones than here. And you hear the dogs jumping in the water. On big rain we had it, then washed off some of the bank down here. Made my water fall a little deeper on top there. Hey, they clean now, bud. Hey, they clean. Shaped up the creek a little more. Knocked off some dirt off side of the banks. I'm gonna chop down this little maple right here. It's on my sandbar. Move, move, Daisy, uh, Jolene. Move, Jolene. I wanna get you. You find something in there, Jolie? What you find? Oh. Sorry, I'm just trying to chop it. That's the way. There she gone. That'll make some good uh, cooking wood right there. I'll just lay it up there next to the campsite. On up there. Get it, Jolene. Come on. Get it. 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 These are my non coon dogs. But it makes some dog on good coon dogs, I'll tell you what. But then got him a mayfly. If I won't make some good fishing bait. I'm surprised the motherfucker ain't stinging the hell out of me right now, honestly. Yeah. Yep. You see it across the Pretty little in there. I'm gonna walk the creek and see what it looks like on up. Some rains we had a couple weeks ago, so. <clears throat> Washed out some trash way on up. <sighs> Stuck in the sand. Video don't do it justice.
Beautiful little stream. So it looks like on the other side of here. Got some ferns growing everywhere. And if I look carefully on the other side toward my house, my dad planted prickly pear a long time ago all through the woods. Hey, Kev, that dam ain't even here no more. All I'm using right now is my little American Trail Maker. Joker's a beast. They've been working with it some more. <clears throat> It'll clear your trail out, that's for sure. Come on, Joe. Joe Lane. Soft sand boy. Huh. Yeah, not brush always. Down our way across, way up there. Come on, Joe. Huh. This was a spot on years back, my brother dammed up and there's a lot more stuff here than this that was damaged up this little place right here as you can see it's rounded rounded out I don't know if you can see it or not but we even had a uh, catfish bass and snapping turtles in here so you see how Erosion takes effect because this was actually pretty deep, at least waist deep. My buddy Kevin. It's A1 from day one. Deer track. Where is, what is that? You want some minutes? Come over here in this hole. There's a couple of minutes floating around from this. I'm just looking for the crowd there. There's some rock life up here too. I was just having a good time. It's nature and its beauty.
Out in the wild, we call this child. You gotta approach him very quietly. They're hard to get a hold of, so be very careful. They could strike at any second. It's a female crawdad. Are you focusing in right? She's got a nice uh, bunch of eggs up under there. Mm -hmm. Good thing she can't paint you, kid. No, that looks like painters. I got the eggs with them. Try to find a good spot. Yeah. All I'm showing you here, guys, is where I grew up at. I've been playing since I was a kid. One day I'll take you all the way up further that way. Further down that way. Well, that was a good bit of woods time. Everybody just a little tired out. Until next time, get outdoors and adventure.